Hey there, commanders. Uh, so check this out. The auto field maintenance unit is a mainstay of a lot of Elite Dangerous gameplay and something that commanders choose to focus, depending on what they're building, a lot of attention to. I know a lot of explorers who choose to operate more than one of these units for their exploration builds out of a sense of redundancy and an abundance of caution. I've also used this module personally on some combat ships where canopies are vulnerable to being shot out and where I know that the shields aren't going to be strong. But there's a couple of issues with this module I want to bring to the forefront, in part to kind of review it for those who are unaware, and in part also in the hopes that FDEV might stumble across this video and try to address some of these issues to make the auto field maintenance unit a little bit more usable, more practical solution as compared to what it is right now in the game, a mild inconvenience and occasional necessity. Auto field maintenance unit technology in the lore is a system that took a lot of time to develop. And the idea behind this unit is that if an internal module takes damage, you're able to address that damage in-game relatively quickly. Here's the problem. In-game, if you want to check the status of the module, turn it on or off, see if it's repairing or how many repair units it has left, it takes one, two, and then three clicks potentially to go into a module and select its repair function during which time you're forced to look away from your viewport. You can't really see what's going on around you and you have to essentially memorize the status of the radar screen and hope that the opponent that you're fighting against isn't savvy enough to realize that you're not looking out your viewport anymore. Which is kind of easy to to see because you stop being a responsive combatant. Some PvPers get around this by trying to time looking at this screen near the edge of, of joust planes when they're coming around on the curve. They'll try to glance at this panel and mess with it a little bit, or they'll try to do a joust and then an extra boost to get themselves some distance so they can go over here and fuss around with what is ultimately a very inconvenient module to access. If it happens to be off, that three basic clicks to access the first module in a subgroup could end up becoming four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clicks, eleven clicks, twelve clicks, farther down the module panel you have to go, the more you're risking the integrity of your ship and the pace of combat in order to affect what might be a necessary repair, especially when the thing you're trying to fix, like the shutdown field neutralizer in the case of AX combat, could be all the way down at the bottom of the list, one of the last modules you can even affect priority status on. And that really sucks, man. I mean, you're putting yourself in a lot of danger to have to look over to this panel, all because, at a fundamental level, the auto field maintenance unit isn't all that automatic. I mean, sure, it fixes the module once you ask it to, but a module that says it's automatic ought to be more intuitive to use than the current version in the game, which requires you to manually babysit for extended periods of time, especially if the module damage that you've sustained is severe and affects multiple modules on your ship. Even if you're lucky enough to have one of the big size 6 or 7 AFMs, the amount of time it takes for that AFM to work its way through the different systems on your ship is incredible. So much so that I have to wonder what the point of the module even is. There are a lot of instances where this field maintenance unit would never fix your modules enough to be combat effective. And I know of a few commanders who don't even bother with these units simply because of the amount of time it takes to babysit to get things back online. Now, how do you address this? Well, I think there's a few options. The first one that comes to mind is to give the auto field maintenance unit a passive repair effect. It doesn't have to be as fast as its base repair effect. But let the auto field maintenance unit auto repair modules as they take damage and potentially spread that auto repair out across multiple damaged modules. Maybe offer engineering effects that enable people to accomplish a similar task or to accomplish a similar end goal. But, but seriously, like this unit needs to be more intuitive. And in fact, I would like to be able to go into the module screen, select an auto field maintenance unit, and in addition to having uh, synthesis recipes, be able to scroll down further and set module repair priorities so that the AFM, if it encounters multiple damaged modules, can prioritize specific types of modules and only to a specific percentage point. For example, if I'm trying to keep hard points functioning, it would be nice to be able to set a repair threshold of, for example, 
85%, where once a hard point reaches 85%, the threshold where well, it's above the threshold where malfunctions begin to take place, then the AFM can automatically switch to another more critical system. For example, uh, your shield generator if it's taking damage, or your power distributor if it takes damage, and be able to define very clearly very clear rule sets for what gets repaired first and to what extent it gets repaired. Automated synthesis recipes would be another excellent benefit. It doesn't have to be standard or premium, although I would like to be able to go in here and, and tell the autofield maintenance unit to automatically begin synthesis at a certain point. But I would be okay if it just affected and, consist and consistently refreshed the basic AFM synthesis recipe. Um, another thing that the AFM needs to do um, if it has a passive effect, it could be a diminishment off of base, but allow the AFM to affect repairs to modules passively without having to turn a particular module off. And it can be super slow. I'd be okay with that. And if a module becomes completely disabled, I would be okay if there's some type of a warm up or a cool down time or a minimum threshold percentage. In Elite Dangerous as it stands right now, individual modules only become fully inoperable when they hit 0%. But if you were going to go in and rebalance the AFM, then you could potentially have inoperability be something that gets knocked on the lower that a module's integrity becomes. For example, a module that is at less than 20% integrity could be nigh on unusable. Thrusters below 20% integrity might force you to fly in FA off mode consistently and might have random lags to throttle inputs or random power surges that make your ship more difficult to control. Uh, Biweave shields. As the shield generator takes damage, uh, this could apply to any shield generator, the maximum capacity that the generator has could randomly malfunction. You might randomly lose a ring of shields if it's below 30% or have its maximum capacity gimped or its recharge rate become unpredictable. Different types of knock-on effects as the modules get weaker. Whereas right now, your bioweave shield or any shield generator for that matter will continue to function perfectly normally until it hits 0% where something like a cargo hatch can start randomly crapping out your cargo at less than 80%. Power distributors, life support, frame shift drive, all of these modules have the ability to suffer random malfunctions at different thresholds, so why not have shield generators be sensitive to this? Why not have sensors be sensitive to this? Like shields, they continue to function until the system hits zero. Why not have the sensor's acuity and range be diminished the more damage the system takes? The time to lock on with missiles, the wobble of your gimbals and weapons, all be affected by damage to the sensor system. I think part of the answer to this question, the reason why this hasn't been done, is because FDEV knows how complicated the process of repairing these modules actually is, and so they're trying to make it less intrusive to facilitate gameplay, but this is speculation on my part. I ultimately don't know the reasonings. It'd be nice to, to have FDEV come in and do a discussion on this, although I doubt they'll have the time anytime soon, but, but this unit really could be a lot more powerful than it is, and in the process be something a lot more usable. The idea behind this module makes so much sense to me, it, it ought to be something that you're incentivized to carry around, even at the expense of the extra hull armor you might be able to carry. It doesn't have to be a strong incentive, and it certainly doesn't have to be something where you're all but required to use. But as it stands right now, it feels like it has more gotchas than it's worth in most situations. And as it stands, this is one of the few car, uh, one of the few combat ships that I've actually stuck these on. Uh, I have, I usually put one on my exploration ships, and only one, because I have found adding ex additional modules doesn't really mean anything. And honestly, if you're a good pilot and you know how to fly carefully, you don't even need an AFM to be a good explorer. Your equipment doesn't suffer any degradation whatsoever. It just keeps right on working like normal, unless you hit a neutron star or overheat. This, I mean, there, there's an opportunity here with another pass over whole module damage mechanics to incorporate a certain level of survival for long-term exploration without compromising the combat pilot's Without, com without compromising a combat pilot's ability to have fun. There's a balance that can be struck here, and I'd be curious to see what, what the community thinks about it. I don't like to be some type of beacon for controversy, but I think that this is a discussion that, that could be had, and, and it, I don't think it would be that difficult to implement. At least on principle, the passive effect would be nice, but um, sure, going in and 
modifying UI elements can be a lot more complicated. I wouldn't expect that to happen quickly, but all of this, it, it would represent more of a quality of life improvement around the field maintenance mechanics that are already in the game. So that's my, uh, that's my little ramble on the not so automatic field maintenance unit. And uh, I guess let me know what you think about that in the comments below.